The third edition of the Kenya Science and Engineering Robotic Fair is currently underway at Moy Girls School in Nairobi. Over 100 participants are battling to secure tickets to represent Kenya in the World Robot Olympiad competition to be held in Germany. Now, the two-day national competition has uh, all representatives from the regions competing in the 8 to 10 years elementary category, 11 to 15 years in the junior category, and 14 to 19 years participants in the senior category. Let's now cross over live to Seth Olale, who's been following the day's event. Seth, what are the, some of the innovative uh, creations that you've been able to witness? Well, uh, good afternoon, Wycliffe. Some of them are the robots, like you mentioned. Remember that this is uh, part and parcel of the Kenya Science and Engineer Engineering Robotic Fair, what you used to call back in our days the uh, um, science competition of science uh, uh, festival. But uh, this particular one, it is going to another level because we're talking about IT, we're talking about innovation, we're talking about creation and control of robots, but I don't want to delve deeper, but I just want, uh, if Gregory you can just zoom in just to show our viewers what's going on here at the Moy Girls School in Nairobi. We have the third edition of the, uh, like you mentioned, the National the Kenya Science and Engineering Robotic uh, Fair. Remember that uh, the winners of this particular event, of course, will represent Kenya at the International Robotic Championship, but this has just been uh, one of its kind because it's bringing uh, together pupils, students as low as eight years, and of course now the seniors uh, students who you know that particular age category of 14 to 19 years. But right now I just want to interact with some of them, and I can see them already carrying these particular gadgets. This actually. Uh, Robots. But let me just right now uh, bring on um, first and foremost Cherono. Your name is Cherono. Hi. Hi. My, my name is Cherono Coach. Okay. Cherono, I'm seeing you with a robot. Just tell us about what excites you. You've come to compete here. You create these particular gadgets, these robots. Why do you have an interest in, you know, innovation and especially robots? I love seeing them move and collecting objects and placing them where they belong. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you think this will help you or will help you know, this generation in future and even presently? For people who want to be engineers, they can start learning now and build robots and, and for the future. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Cherono. Just one of the very many participants in this particular uh, edition of the, you know, uh, of the World Robotic Olympiad, which is under the Kenya Science and Engineering Fair. Let me bring over Margaret Njaga, who is the principal of Moy Girls School, but also she is the chairperson of the National uh, uh, Kenya Science and Engineering Fair. Just come over, Margaret. Uh, just to let you know, we've seen uh, very young uh, students, very young pupils, you know, engage in this. Why is it important for them? Yes, this is very important. Thank you very much, because this is where the country is moving towards, and the whole world at large. We are now talking about artificial intelligence, and I'm holding a, ro a robot in my hands. And this one, our, our students are able to navigate them so that they are able to maybe even they can do a few tasks using them, meaning that if uh, given a chance, it is possible for this country to go to a, a level that maybe we had not even thought about. But as you can see, this was organized by STEM Impact Kenya, and it is such a wonderful opportunity for these young people to showcase what they know about uh, robotics. They have done coding by themselves, and that when you look at what they are doing, it is so amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. So we are so happy to host this okay. and even to have this okay. from the STEM education. Thank you. thank you so much. I'll end it up with Alex. Alex, very fast, you know, uh, what are some of the achievements? Where did Kenya reach in terms of qualification? We know the winners are going to Germany, but tell us about the previous editions. Where have we been ranked in terms of innovation and in particular robotic engineering 
Um, we've done this for the past three years, and in the three years we've seen amazing projects from our learners, and the performance is quite commendable. So, like last year in Germany, we merged among the top uh, 48 out of 80 countries that performed, which was our first time to go to Germany and compete. This year we are looking to take students to three countries, Panama, Denmark, and uh, South Africa, and the top three teams here will get that opportunity. And is this competition open for all? Many, may, some can say, you know, it's a private school affair, but I've seen schools such as uh, Makweni Public School. I've also seen Drapogi. Tell us about, is it a mixture of both public and private schools? It's a mixture of both, and for us, we believe there's no private or public student, so we work with all learners, and we have a good partnership with the Kenya Science and Engineering Fair, who are enabling us to be able to partner with schools, especially public schools, in terms of uh, mobilization, resources, support, and even trainings for them to be able to take part. Okay. Thank you. I know because of time, we'll not be able to engage all of you, but yeah, you had it. It's the Kenya Science and Engineering Fair. We used to call it Science Congress back in our days, but it's happening here at the Moy Girls School in Nairobi. Over 100 participants. These are students who have shown interest in robotic engineering, talk about IT to another level, and of course, this particular innovation, they hope to not only help them now, but also so uh, provide some of the solution in terms of innovation, IT and engineering for this particular country in various sectors of the economy. But it's winding up today. It has been a two-day event. It's coming now down today here at the Moe Girls where the judges will announce the winners and already the finals are already underway. But what we will wait for is for the judges to decide who the winners are. And like we said, the winners are going all the way to Germany to represent Kenya in the world robotic competition. Well, thank you very much there, Seth Olali. It's good to see the young minds there engaging in robotic engineering and embracing that kind of technology. All the best to the winners.